In the transmission of light, haze is the percent of transmitted light that is scattered so that its direction deviates more than a specified angle from the direction of the incident beam. The American Society for Testing Materials International, or ASTM, provides guidance in the calculation and measurement of haze in their procedure D1003, Standard Test Method for Haze and Luminous Transmission of Transparent Plastics. ASTM offers for sale copies of this test method, individually or as part of a compilation in their book, ASTM International, Standards on Color and Appearance Measurement. ASTM D1003 allows for the use of a spectrophotometer or a device called a haze meter. This video uses a transmission capable spectrophotometer with a diffuse illuminating sphere and a measuring angle of 8 degrees to the plane of the sample being measured. This spectro conforms to ASTM standards. Not all spectros do. Samples to be measured for haze should be of uniform thickness. If you are comparing samples, they must be of equal thickness. The surfaces should be free of dust, grease, scratches, blemishes, and must be untextured. The interiors should be free of visible voids, bubbles, and particles. The samples in the room in which you are working should be of average temperature and humidity. The ASTM puts the temperature between 70 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit, with humidity between 45 and 55 percent. In Tools QC, use the Haze ASTM screen form. Set the primary illuminant and observer combination to C, 2 degrees. After you have calibrated your spectro for transmission, you are ready to begin. With no sample in the transmission sample holder in the transmission measurement compartment, put the white spectral on tile in place over the aperture on the aperture plate. Measure the tile using the haze white measurement button in the upper right hand corner of the screen form. In Tools version 2, this would be the T1 button. <clears throat> Next, replace the spectral on tile with the Spectro's black calibration trap. Measure this using the Haze black measurement button also in the upper right hand corner of the screen form. In Tools version 2, this would be the T3 button. Once this is done, place the sample to be measured in the transmission sample holder inside the Spectro's transmission compartment. The proper placement is to have the sample flush against the flat plate which touches the Spectro's sphere wall. To enter the name of the standard sample to be measured, click on the new standard button below the dialog box labeled standard on the left side of the screen. Type the sample's name into the standard name dialog box. Put the spectral on tile back on the aperture plate on the spectro. Measure the sample by clicking on the standard INST button on the lower left hand side of the screen form. Place the black trap on the aperture plate of the spectro. Measure the sample by clicking on the Haze Standard button on the lower left hand side of the screen form. The haze of the standard will be displayed there in the lower left hand side of the screen form. To compare a second sample to the standard sample, replace the standard sample in the transmission sample holder with the new sample, positioning it in the same manner. Enter the name of the sample by clicking on the new BAT button below the dialog box labeled batch on the right side of the screen form. Type the sample's name into the batch name dialog box. 
measure the sample by placing the spectral on tile on the spectro and clicking on the BAT INST button in the lower right hand side of the screen form. Place the black trap on the aperture plate of the spectro. Measure the sample by clicking on the haze BAT button on the lower right hand side of the screen form. The haze of the batch sample will be displayed there in the lower right hand side of the screen form. Additionally, the comparison of the two samples haze will be displayed at the bottom of the screen form labeled haze difference. In tools version 2, the new standard and new batch buttons are inactive. Just use the standard INST and bat INST buttons in the lower part of the screen form.